Good day, it's Guesty here and welcome to Bread and Butter and it doesn't get much more bread and butter than this. We're out in the, out in the dark, we're away from the TV screens and we're going to do a bit of prawning which is just fantastic. I've got young Noah Torrance on the wing here. Stella Torrance is on the other wing or just inside centre and the prop forward's here. Jay Torrance is running it up. I don't know what position I'm going to take, mate. I'll, I'll, just, oh, I'll choose one there somewhere. Captain, oh, halfback. Halfback. Yeah. Halfback sounds pretty good, but I've got to tell you, I've spotted a few of those bright red eyes that we're looking for. We're going to get our torches out and see if we can't find a few prawns. Prawning at night is a great way for the kids to understand how our food webs work. By scouring the shallows with a head torch, they can see just how productive seagrass and sand flats are for the small critters that we will eventually use for bait the next day. Jump in there, Noah, have a look at that one. It's one. Wow. Oh, just come around here, have a look at that. And what's the bit that you see in the dark, Noah? You know when we shine the light, the eyes, and what colour are they? Red. Bright red. So you know the prawns are there when you can see those bright red eyes. And see these big long bits here, these feelers? They've got one on either side, a bit like a lobster. So they use those to detect prey. See those great big long feelers? So they can pick up vibrations of fish and other things that are going to feed on them. But I've got to tell you, that's a great bait, that one there. Yeah. It is. So we might put it on an aerator tonight and uh, take Sorry, it over the sand flats. Pop him in there. Wow, how many have we got in there now? One. Four, five. Five, good counting. But I reckon, you know what, that's the biggest one by far so yeah, far. Look yeah. at that. I've been doing this since I was about four years of age and you sort of work a bit of a technique out in the end. So um, using your foot's a really easy way. So I've got the prawn net in my right hand here at the moment, whether you're right or left-handed. So that prawn's right under the light and I'm just gonna bring my foot around and do what we do, a little, little bit of a push. And got him straight in there. And there is the result. Look at that. And drop him. How cool is it to see the kids out and about at night time, just exploring, doing things that I did when I was a kid. It's just fantastic. And not only the prawns that you see, but there's um, all sorts of things. Little squid, mullet, brim, catfish, even the, the occasional blurring octopus, which is a pretty cool thing to see. I know they're poisonous, but you keep away from those. Kids have got big smiles on their faces, and I've got to tell you, it is just great fun, and the prawns are coming thick and fast. Hi, Dan, Stella. Put your net down. Come in, Noah. Come in this way, Noah. Stay there, don't move, Stella. Put your net hard on the bottom. That's the wrong one. Come in now, Noah. Push, push, push. Go, yes! Go, go, go. Got, got him, boys. A good one. Get him. Well done. Good Show boy. us that one. You get a few different varieties in this estuary system. We get school prawns, greasy backs and king prawns, but I reckon that one's a school prawn. Stella, Jay and Noah are the ultimate fishing team. Jay knows how important it is for them to be outdoors and learning a skill like fishing. And I must admit, they have this prawning thing down pat. Put your hand on it. Which, which is the biggest one you reckon, mate? And who caught, who's, who caught the biggest one? Who's man of the match? Oh, it's Noah, put it up there. Good boy. Stel, I'll give you, you know, I'm going to give out rugby league, give three points out. I'm going to give three to Noah. Yeah. Two to Stel, <laughs> and I guess you can have one being the prop oh, forward. You did the hard yards, yeah, didn't you? Right. Dragging everybody along. Yeah. I've got to tell you, there's a fantastic lot of prawns there. I reckon about 25 prawns. We'll be going about 25 minutes, yep, one a minute. It. It's either a sandwich, Jay, or it's sand flats fishing tomorrow for flathead brim and whiting. What do you reckon, Stella? Fishing. Come on, it's fishing. Sand flats. Sand flats. Let's yeah. do it. That's bread and butter right there. If you're looking for somewhere to start with your kids, then head into BCF, grab yourself some gear, and get involved focusing on those bread and butter basics. If you want to go one step further, then get your child involved in Oz Fisher's Junior Oz Fisher program. This is a program inspiring the next generation through a series of challenges, teaching them the importance of fish habitat. As a reward, Junior Oz Fishers receive a dedicated badge to show off their achievement.